Hi, I'm Mihaela from Learn Polymore Clay and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to make very beautiful, festive looking uh, lamp work inspired clay beads. I'm working with black polymer clay that I have previously conditioned and then I pass the clay through the um, largest setting of my pasta machine and I'm going to use um, a cutter because I want to make sure that I'm um, working with the same amount of clay for the beads and this is because I want to have beads that are similar in size but so um, uh, I took a piece of polymer clay, I rolled it into my palm, in the middle of the palm and you will get a round bead and then I round it a little bit more but this time on the um, exterior part of the palm and you will get um, an olive shape for your beads then you'll just have to use a toothpick and um, uh, poke a hole and uh, I um, um, rotated uh, the, the, beak, the toothpick inside the bead because I wanted to have very large holes. Then I, I decided to um, uh, use uh, beautiful ch chameleon uh, colors and they are called chameleon colors because you have like a pinkish shade if you look from one side and you have a purple shade um, if you look from a different angle and this is why they are called chame chameleon uh, powders and they have a metallic look as well. I am going to use um, small jump rings and I'm going to make um, four lines from uh, side to side on the beads and I'm going to use um, such um, jump rings to make these lines. I am going to use eyelets for some of the beads and I prefer the beads with the eyelets. Working with the bead on top of the skewer or on top of the toothpick you will have to place the eyelids on each side of the bead and then press them gently into the bead but of course you'll have to be very careful not to distort too much the shape of the bead. Then I decided to add more chameleon powder, mica powder and you can use um, your fingers to, to add such uh, powders to your beads or of course you can use a brush or an applicator. And then I'm going to use a 3D acrylic metallic um, paint to make dotted decorations inside the drum rings. So I decided to use um, a, a dotting tool to make these um, uh, dots of uh, 3D paint, of purple metallic 3D paint. You could use um, a toothpick, I think. And so I'm going to fill all these jump rings with uh, such um, purple metallic um, purple pearlescent 3D paint. And you will notice some of these dots have a spiky effect. Then I wanted to add a little bit more interest to these beads, so I decided to um, add some uh, orange chameleon paint, light orange, and it's um, um, reddish from an angle and orange from a different angle. Uh, I uh, added um, this uh, chameleon powder on, on the margins in the upper and in the bottom part of the bead to make the bead even more interesting. Uh, you will notice that I am going to use a metallic cutter to make uh, a supporting system for the beads and I am going to use this system while baking the beads and also when I am applying UV resin. So um, again, I took um, a piece of uh, polymer clay cut out with the initial metallic cutter. Then I rolled the clay um, in the middle of the palm and then on the exterior part of the palm, let's say um, underneath um, the thumb and underneath the, um, um, the fingers. Uh, and I ended up with an olive shape for the bead. Then um, I... Um, um, use the, a, a skewer to poke holes and uh, you will notice that um, when making such beads you you'll touch the clay a lot with your hands so there is a, 
a high risk of leaving fingerprints. So um, um, in this case, you have two possibilities. You could uh, work with um, gloves or um, uh, you could use um, a toothbrush uh, and um, um, impress a pattern onto the clay and um, hide, move any fingerprints. For the second bit that I am going to make, for the second style, let's say, because I've made uh, several beads in, in one pattern and several beads in the other pattern, but let's say for the second pattern, I decided to use even smaller oval jump rings in a gold color, but I'm going this, to do the same thing. So I'm making four lines from uh, one side of the bead to the other side of the bead. So I'm picking up the jump rings with my hand and I'm pressing them well into the clay. Even though we are not, I'm not going to use eyelets for this um, um, style of beads. Um, I recommend you to um, rotate the, um, the skewer inside the bead to make sure that you have uh, um, larger holes. Um, for these beads, uh, I decided to use uh, green chameleon um, powder and uh, it has a green um, sheen, sheer, a green sheer from uh, one angle and um, I think a grayish um, look from a different angle. And so for the first beads, I decided to add a little bit of um, a little bit of purple and for the green beads um, I am going to counter a little bit the margins but this time I'm going to use um, um, a, um, a very light orange or a, let's say uh, orange yellow uh, chameleon powder If you notice fingerprints on your beads, um, you just have to use a toothbrush and um, uh, make a rough um, texture on the beads. Or you might want to use um, gloves and you won't have to worry about such fingerprints. For these green beads, I decided to use the green pearlescent 3D paint. Um, and again, I applied a little bit of uh, such a 3D paint on top of my um, tile wrapped in uh, parchment paper. Um, and then I used a dotting tool to make uh, little dots, spiky dots, pointy dot dots um, in the center of, of the jump rings. I am going to fill all these um, areas with uh, this um, light green pearlescent 3D paint. And I personally like the look of the beads with these uh, 3D accents. You could um, leave the beads just as they are, uh, let the paint dry and then uh, bake the clay in the oven, but then I decided to add even more interest to these pieces and I decided to add um, lines of um, um, dots made with gold uh, 3D paint. And you can see I'm just applying the color out of the box and I'm making dots in between the lines made using the um, jump rings uh, and the pearlescent 3D paint. I thought the beads were even more interesting with more detail, but you might like the previous version without the, the, the 3D metallic accents, so um, it's up to you. Uh, and again, you could uh, apply the pen paint out of the bottle, but this is a little more difficult to control the amount of paint that you are using, or you can use uh, a dotting tool or a toothpick to, to make such dots on top of your beads. And again, I'm making lines, dotted lines uh, in between the lines made with the jump rings. 
then you will just have to uh, let the paint dry and um, um, and then you can put your beads into the oven for uh, 45 minutes at the recommended temperature and then you'll just have to let the clay cool down and you are ready to apply resin I'm applying UV resin um, and um, normally <laughs> as a piece of advice when you have uh, such pieces uh, we are working with um, um, beads we are not working with flat components so when you are uh, applying resin on top of beads it is recommended to work with small amounts of resin to avoid drippings and to avoid um, the, the blobs that the, the, the resin might um, um, create when the, the resin gathers in, in certain areas so um, uh, keep in mind that um, if you don't want if you don't want these blobs of resin on top of your beads, it is recommended to apply very thin layers of UV resin. Use the UV lamp to cure the leaving to cure the UV resin.